อะเอาไปวิธีนะเบลิทยูชัดซีมอัฟฟิชันอัฟสเปนเดอร์กรีนเชิ้ตบล็อกไทเชื่อคุณมีการที่ถูกต้องไหมครับคุณมีการที่ถูกต้องไหมครับคุณมีการที่ถูกต้องไหมครับคุณมีการที่ถูกต้องไหมครับคุณมีการที่ถูกต้องไหมครับคุณมีการที่ถูกต้องไหมครับคุณมีการที่ถูกต้องไหมครับ Ye gods! It's Cinderella. <laughs> Make a note. We have to get him back by midnight. I don't like it. Oh, nonsense! We're impressed. <laughs> Where'd you get it? Oh, George's daughter. Madge gave it to you. Hi. I told her I would come it up for you, though. And she went white. Disappeared inside the house and came back with George's best suit. They were going to bury him in it. And now they've buried you in it. <laughs> I don't like it, does t h a Eh? I think it's going too far, oh, don't they? Of course we like it. It's the biggest local improvement since they cleaned the town hall. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get used to it. I felt the same way about decimalization. <laughs> oh, it looks tremendous. Oh, I'm very proud of you. I'm much relieved. I thought it was going to be one of those funerals. I was dreading when they got to the bit about dust and dust and ashes to ashes. <laughs> well, tell me, does t h a think this is going too far? <laughs> Definitely not at all. We like it. We like it. Well, you sure it's not going too far? It looked better on old Jonesy, and he's dead. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Keep it up. It's very proper. Shows respect. <laughs> Good grief! I thought it was old Jonesy's ghost. <laughs> well, Nora, l a s s gave me quite a turn. I would if I could, but I keep turning me down. I hope we're not going to have any bother today. I still live in Oak Slope. Hey, that's looking pretty tasty, myself, Nora. Except, except for them stockings, wrinkled stockings. Mm. Keep your eyes off my legs. He's always on about my legs. I mean, I know it's a funeral, but I don't have to wear everything at half mast. I mean, look at this here. Yeah. Take him away. He might be dressed up, but he's no better. Can we please have no frolicking on this solemn occasion? Oh, j o n e s y used to frolic. Has nobody done more frolicking than old j o n e s y And in this very suit. I'll try and keep it under control. I wonder where old j o n e s y got it. Second hand, possibly from Lloyd George. <laughs> there could be a great leg under there if I could only find it. Get away, you cheeky monkey! Don't be so personal. Raving that collar about. Why do people wear such daft things at funerals? Well, they wear such daft things at weddings, <laughs> like promises. <laughs> It's tight. Well, so it should be. Tight collars are traditional at funerals. You're not going there looking like you've just fallen off the back of a group. I'll let people come to my funeral with open necks. Well, watch it. It'll be sooner than you think if you don't leave that collar alone. <laughs> What I don't understand is why people should feel choked just because they're burying somebody. It's not a burial; it's a cremation. I assume you know what a cremation is. It's very similar to what you did with a toast this morning. <laughs> I know what a cremation is. Well, you'd think where it was going to be warm, people could have their collars open. <laughs>
think I'd like to be cremated. Oh, now he tells us when he knows nobody's got a match. <laughs> I can't get over him in that bowler. It's going to be one of them weird days, I can tell. A match said he hardly ever wore it. Well, you can see why, can't you? It's very smart. It's the archetypal English headdress. <laughs> well, he looks demented. Well, yes, he looks demented, but smart and demented. Yeah. I mean, it just doesn't look like him. Well, you regard that as a disadvantage, do you? I'll take it off. That no, 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 no. You won't take it off. You've done very well this morning. Let's keep it up. Now. Repeat after me. He looks very smart in his bowler. He, he looks, looks very, very smart, smart in, in his, his bowler. bowler. Actually, he looks a prat in his bowler. <laughs> it got to Laura Batty. You, she liked it, you can tell. Fair enough. Where are you going? I just got to dip round here. I won't be a minute. Will you come along, man? We haven't the time. In a minute! Bowler or not, is still a bit wild. Ah, they used to say that about Lloyd George. What's he doing? What does he think he is? A jolly green midget? <laughs> Maybe he's looking for a flower for his buttonhole. You better tell him it's not a wedding. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm looking for Taffy. You sure he's a fit person to find if he lives under a shed? Well, he's Welsh. I expect he's searching for the perfect acoustics. Taffy be Welsh very. He went off last night. He comes down here sometimes. Come on, Dad. Dad, come on here. Here. Come on, Daffy. There'll be a welcome in the hillside. We haven't got the time, man. You can come back later. Little Welsh brat. I'll kill him when he gets home. That's another thing they used to say about Lloyd George. Oh. Now, come along. I ain't losing a ferry. Especially a musical ferret. What's I talking about, musical ferry? You said he was Welsh. I only call him Welsh because I bought him from his Welsh bloke. I'm sorry about that. I was intrigued by the idea of this musical ferret. Norman Clegg? Yeah? That's a bomb pot. <laughs> I'll second that. All right. I shall sulk then. <laughs> ah, I see him. Oh, there he is! No. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh! I see him, little old scrubbity. Scotty, uh, did you see that? He won't gonna run away again. Who's a naughty little Welsh rabbit then? Eh? <laughs> Sorry, but we haven't time for collecting ferrets. Oh, I'm not letting him go again. Well, you haven't got time to take him home. Why, oh, take him with us. You can't take a ferret to a funeral. Uh, on behalf of the barn pots, you could if it was a musical ferret. Uh, he'll be all right now he's had his little holiday. He'll be no bother. He's smashed out of his mind. All he wants is a little ziz. Well, where are you going to keep him? No problem. <laughs> right, you can take him as far as the house, but once you get to the house, you put it in a dustbin or something until we get back from the funeral. I'm not putting any ferret to mine in a dustbin. Well, you'll have to find some place to put it. It's not going to the funeral. <laughs> Don't take us excited. <laughs> What does life feel like with a ferret on your head? Oh, more secure than having it down your trousers. <laughs> I 
appreciate these formal occasions. Oh, good grief. Oh, oh, it's only you. Only me? That's charming, that is. I'm your husband, woman. Yes, but you see, whenever I see a stranger walking into my kitchen, my heart just about leaps through my hat. What stranger? You, in a suit. <laughs> it's like some dreadful omen when you're in a suit. You know, you'd look much more at home perched on some telegraph wires. In my own home, I'm a stranger. Oh, well, you see, I'm only programmed to recognise you in greasy overalls. I'm more comfy in me overalls. Suppose you want burying in your overalls. Not till I'm dead. <laughs> oh, are you nearly ready, Mum? It's time. We're ready. Where's Barry? Oh, he's just behind me. He was just behind me. Barry? He's coming. What's he doing? Practising his funeral pace? <laughs> I thought you were just behind me. I was just behind you. I mean, how do you do it, Barry? How do you nearly get lost between the back gate and the back door? Oh, you know how it is when you get to thinking. I was just thinking, one of these mornings, people are going to be coming to my funeral. You haven't finished paper in that kitchen yet. <laughs> well, are we all ready? As ready as we'll ever be. Oh, hey, did I turn that oven off? You turn the oven off. Can you close that upstairs window? I close the upstairs window. Are you sure? Oh, Mother. Look, will somebody go upstairs and check that window? Barry, go upstairs and check that window. You know what I'd like before I die? I'd like to stroke a penguin. <laughs> I bet that'd be really great, a penguin. If we left that tally plugged in. See, you should never leave a tally plugged in. Oh, leave it all to me. You know, if I don't do it, nobody does. We should have three fires a week if I left it all to him. <laughs> uh, did I turn that kettle off? You turned the kettle off? Yeah, well, I'll just check. How the devil is he going to keep a penguin? <laughs> They're always sad occasions for somebody. But at least he was 93 and never very pleasant. He was all so damn argumentative. Courage. Sheer naked courage. <laughs> She's been a brick with him, his daughter. Well, I mean, it's for her sake that people are going more than anything. Aye. Lock the upstairs window. Switch it over out here. Well, keep it still until you find some place that you can. What am I going to do, Norm? Well, tell them it's a self-raising hat. <laughs> it's good of you all to come. Would anybody like to have a look at him before we close the lid? Oh, thank you, Madge. We'd like to very much. Come on, then, love. You wanted a place to change your ferret, didn't you? <laughs> Take your hat 
off. That'd be sorry. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Do you mind? Thanks very much. <laughs> take your hat off. There's not room to take your hat off in here. Hello, Howard. Oh, it's you, Compo. I can't see too well in this tight collar. <laughs> Will you stop complaining, Howard? Take your hat off. I'll see you later. Bring the ground sheet. <laughs> you, you were in the war, Mr. Simonite. You must have travelled around a bit. Um, did you ever get near any penguins? In all the shot. <laughs> Hello, love. Hello. <laughs> I saw his hat move. Did you see his hat move? It'll move if I get near him. <laughs> There's another one who looks foreign in a suit. Don't start that again. Oh, I hate funerals. Everybody hates funerals. Mm. No, but I hate funerals. Because often when you get home, you find you've had such a good time. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good look at him. He looks better than he's been for years. <laughs> I'll leave you with him. <laughs> Listen, I'm not looking at him. There's no way that I am going to look at him. There wasn't all that much pleasure in it when he was alive. <laughs> he won't hurt there. Well, you look at him. There's no need to look at him. Just get rid of that ferret. Yeah. Find somewhere where he can't do any damage. And you can pick him up later. She were exaggerating. He don't look well. Well, he's well enough for where he's going. <laughs> the radio grab, huh? We can pop him in the radio grab. Ah, well, nobody's going to be playing records this morning, are they? What have you done with it? I put him under here. Well, I know it was under there. What is it now? It must have slipped away. Oh, my oh, God! God. Oh. What's his name again? Taffy. No. Taffy. He must be here somewhere. Yeah. He's not out here. And he's not round here, are you? No. What? Have you been near the. <laughs> <laughs> well, just a glance. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Daffy! Dab! Daffy! Hurry up! You've got to be quick about it. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm still not looking. I'll kill him if he's in here. <laughs> We've got to tell somebody. Well, I agree. <laughs> We've got to tell somebody. Listen, I'm not losing Tappy. Well, I... go on then. Tell somebody. We'll all do it. I mean, oh. we're in this together. Not but... me. It's your own damn ferret. Oh, that's nice, eh, Dick? Oh, don't look at me. <laughs> oh, another one. <laughs> on my own, hand, am I? I see. Well, there we... <laughs> I just seen him. <laughs> in the bookcase. He must have slipped it there. Big reader, is he? <laughs> Compulsive. <laughs> My influence, men. <laughs> Every time I look at him, I see me dad in that suit. Was he very close to me, dad? Well, nearly closer than you'd think. <laughs> Come along. Mm -hmm. 
Where is it? In my pocket. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> He's trying to get out. Well, if he's getting out, I'm getting out. <laughs> I wish it didn't leave me alone. I think it's shrinking. That's your head. <laughs> Where are they taking him? I don't think he's well. He seemed very uncomfortable in church. With ideas like he's got, you're bound to feel uncomfortable in church. <laughs> I didn't hear you singing. I was singing. Not as loud as you do in that old shed. Well, no, not as loud as I do in the shed. I sound like Elvis in that shed. <laughs> I sound like a twitting church. Hello, Barry. Linda. Hello, Mrs. Batty. You haven't got a mint or anything, have you? I think Barry's got wind. You don't have to tell everybody. Oh, it's nothing to be ashamed about, having wind. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't get the vicar to announce it. Yeah. Suck that slowly till it dissolves. I know how it feels. <laughs> We're not going to the crematorium then. No, oh, we've been to the church. We've paid our respects. I didn't pay much. I saw what I put in that plate. Well, so happens I didn't have any change. That's no change. Anyway, we've paid our respects. Ours. Um, Taffy's. I told you he's a right little beggar who's our Taffy, ain't you, sonny? Eh? <laughs> he's a right little beggar who's going home. The thing that I shall always remember about Jones's funeral 
was the vicar preaching. There was this respectful hush, just the vicar's voice and silence in the pauses. And he said, our dear departed, beloved husband and father, and he went <laughs> We ought to have a drink for old Georgie. Oh, not till you've got rid of that thing. No, Bob, that dear. Oh, I suppose if it's been to church, it could just as well go to a boozer. Oh, it can't not have a drink with old Josie. I still don't like it. Oh. Come on, you Welsh nit! <laughs> 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 <laughs>